What is up you guys, I'm Charmix, and today I'm gonna be reacting to SML movie Bowser Jr. Goes to the Sun by Super Mario Logan. Now I'm not really sure what to expect except for that he goes to the sun somehow, but uh, yeah, with that being said, I hope you guys like this video. This was recommended to me, so hopefully it's gonna be quite funny, and uh, the original link's in the description. Make sure you go subscribe to Super Mario Logan. Without any further ado, let's begin. You're watching the Space Channel. Nothing but space, 24-7. Hey kids. I wouldn't lie, that'd actually be kind of an awesome channel. Well, they would have to have a camera out in the middle of space, though, right? Which I don't think- that's- that's impossible. Definitely getting a camera out, you know, far enough where you can see, like, star clusters and stuff like that. Do you want to be on TV? Well, send in your best space video, and we could show it on next week's episode. <gasps> I can make a space video, and I can send it in, and I can tell NASA that the sun is a planet, and then they can prove Cody wrong, because the sun <laughs> is a planet! I'm gonna make a video right now! Oh my god! I just made the coolest video ever! NASA's gonna love it. Who's that? Hello? Hey, What's up, dude? Oh, hey guys, I didn't know y'all were coming over. Yeah, we were yeah, just in the neighborhood. Roman. We all gotta see this video I just made. Come on inside! Okay. You made a video? Okay, guys, so I was watching the Space Channel, right? Mm -hmm. And they're having this contest, whoever makes the best space video, they'll air it on next week's episode! Oh, cool. dude, it's so awesome! It's really cool. What's your video about? It's yeah. right here. It's called Junior's Trip to the Sun. Oh, you know how the sun's a dude. planet? Well, I'll be the first person to land on the sun! That is it's genius! It's gonna be really cool, it'll be awesome! The sun is not a planet, Junior, it's a star! What? The sun is a planet, Cody! <laughs> it is a planet! over this! It's a star, Junior! Well, the sun is round, the Earth is round, they're both planets! We're Why not are you doing always this hating, Cody? <laughs> how, how about you watch the video? Wait, so his requirement for something to be a planet is that it has to be round? I think Junior skips too much school. Five, yeah. Watch the video. <laughs> Junior's trip to the sun! Hi, NASA. My name is Junior, and uh, this is my Lego space shuttle, and I want to go on a mission to... Okay, it's actually kind of cool that they um, did, like, a stop-motion animation. Like, I know those are pretty difficult to make, as I tried making one. A while back, they're actually really quite difficult. Land on the sun because the sun is a planet, just like the Earth. Because the sun That's is cool. not a star; it's not in a star shape. It's round, just like the Earth. So hold on, let me get inside my space shuttle real quick. Uh, going up the elevator. Uh, all right, Houston. Uh, all computers are ready. Uh, ready for blast off. Three, two, one, take off. Oh, that's awesome. That's what a space shuttle sounds like. Okay, I left Earth's atmosphere. I'm ready to decouple. All right, getting rid of all that fuel that I don't need. Uh, all right, so now I'm gonna hit. That's awesome. That's awesome. I don't think I've ever seen a, like a stop motion animation in a Super Mario Logan video before. So that's actually you know quite cool. Head to the sun to land on it because it is a planet just like the Earth. All right, there's the sun. Uh, Houston, we're getting really close to the sun right now. Uh, hold on, we're about to land. Okay, and a successful landing on the sun. Houston, prepare the sun dance. I'm on the sun. I'm on the sun. You're not. And I'm on the sun. You get it to plan it. I'm on the sun. I'm on the sun. <sighs> the end. What the hell was that? Dude, that was genius. <laughs> You're right, right? The sun dance, Junior. Yeah, the sun dance. It's just like the moonwalk. Yeah, yeah, look, I'm on the sun. I'm on the sun. Does the sun dance have a part where you burst into flames and die? Because that's what would happen. Why, from the moves being so hot? <laughs> no, from the heat, Junior. The sun is almost 10,000 degrees. 10,000 degrees? Yeah. That's a lot of college, Cody. J Junior, <laughs> okay, I'll put it in stupid people terms for you. Sun, hot, burn, ow, die. <laughs> Caveman terms, so not. <laughs> I don't know why, but that reminds me of that pyrocynical meme where he's talking about um, Casey Neistat and uh, ca how, how Casey Neistat r reminds him of a caveman. <laughs> you remember how to blink? Sound like Casey Neistat, how to blend in society. No, Casey, put the club down. <laughs> <laughs> so, there you go, he's caught now. Canon LTD. <laughs> so, uh, <laughs> me fly, me fly, big metal bird. <laughs> <laughs> See, that is what it reminds me of when he said that. That's... Anyway. Okay, I but I can say to... words too. Sun, what? planet, round. Junior, you wouldn't even make it to the sun. You would burn up before you even got there. What? Yeah, the Lego guy made it to the sun. But that's because it's Legos, Junior. What? Dude, Cody, it's a planet. You know what? Play your stupid video again, and I will voice over it and tell you how it would really go. Uh, okay. Just play it. Hi, guys. I'm an astronaut, but I'm also retarded and I want to die, so I'm going to go <laughs> to the sun. Let's go. <laughs> 
Here I go. I'm I think I'm gonna like this version more than the last uh, one that uh, Junior did. I'm gonna blast off. Three, two, one, whatever. Take off. Uh, here I am. I'm at the sun and dead. You wouldn't die immediately, Cody. Oh, oh, I'm sorry. <laughs> ah, I'm burning up. Ah, help me. I'm on fire. What a waste of a Lego man. Ah, the end. I think I like Junior's better, dude. Yeah, I like mine better, Cody. Yours was depressing. Yeah. What? Because that's what would actually happen, Junior. You would die. Well, what about the sun dance? I'm on the sun. Oh, yes. I'm on the sun. You would die I'm before you sun. even got on the sun, Junior. There would be no time for sun dance. Okay, the only time you would burn up, Cody, is if you landed on a star. But yeah. the sun is a planet. The sun is but a star. You know what? Screw it. I'm going home. I don't need this. What? Someone's having a hissy fit. Yeah, what? He's just jealous. Cody's blood pressure is probably like as high as a 50 year old's with having to deal with Junior. It's <laughs> because. <gasps> what, what's that knock on the door? Ooh, uh, it's probably Cody apologizing. Yeah, he's right? already coming back. <laughs> is it NASA? <laughs> hello? No, I say hello. It's no, NASA, I knew it. Apartment. No, it's your dad's apartment. But I live with my dad, so technically it's my apartment. Hey, 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 which one of you is Junior? Uh, oh, that's, that's, that's Junior. That's me. Oh, okay, hi, NASA. NASA? Yeah. He's from NASA, Junior! No way, dude! No, what do you want? Well, I'm a space cadet Brooklyn T guy, and I came here about your video. <laughs> my video? He saw my video! Oh, he saw my video! Yeah. Can I come inside? Hey, sure, come, come inside! Okay. <laughs> Alright, so we at NASA saw your video, and... Uh, you did? Yeah, we were impressed, to say the least. They were Same here. Like, it, although it's quite... false... Because the sun is a star, like the actual editing behind it is pretty good. We're impressed, Joseph. Dude, that's all yep. you were impressed. Yeah, we uh, we've always had the sun on file as a star, what? but after watching your video, we noticed that the sun is round like a planet. Yeah, yeah it's round because the Earth is round and right. Jupiter's round and yeah, Mercury's exactly. round and the sun is round. Right, it's not star shaped like stars are, and yeah. and you were dancing on it. Can't do that on a yeah, star. I'm on the sun. Right. I'm yeah, on the sun. That was, that was a good dance. A good dance. So uh, we've decided we're gonna give you your own space shuttle, <gasps> and you're gonna go up to the sun yourself to. Prove it's a plan. <laughs> what? Really? Yeah. What? That is a plot twist I did not see coming. I get to go to the sun, dude. It's so cool. Oh my god. You even get to name the space shuttle. I get to name Anything the space shuttle. Want. Yeah. Anything else? Oh, name it Black Warhawk or Sea Dragon I or mean, something like that. Like some of the past names were like Challenger and Columbia, but I, I wouldn't recommend either of those. Um, I'm the Didn't those ones explode? I'm thinking. I'm thinking. Um. Come on, dude. You can think of a good one. Uh, I got it. What is it? Space shuttle octopus. Uh, octopus. Yes. Like a dude, dude, that is cool. I like it. Yeah, it's, it's futuristic. Uh, octopus. <laughs> Space oh, okay. shuttle octopus. That's what I want to name it. Octopus. Sure, sure. Octopus. What, yes. what do I get to go to the sun? Uh, well, I'm gonna leave you today to just make your preparations, tell people where you're going. Okay. And then I'm gonna see you bright and early tomorrow to take you to Port Canaveral for training, so you can go to the sun. Oh my God, dude! <laughs> is that? Oh my God. Oh. Okay, there, I skipped forward. I was gonna say, is uh, Junior's father going to hear about this? Because if not, I mean, it's just gonna look like some random person came into his house and kidnapped his kid, so they might wanna tell his parents. Oh my god. Just in case people don't believe you, I got you a letter right here. You see that? NASA oh, okay. man? That's me. Really? Yep. Oh, NASA man. It's an official record, dude. Uh, I'm gonna be like Neil Armstrong. Can I talk to Neil Armstrong? Uh, he is dead. What about Lance Armstrong? Uh, he is career dead. Well, oh. So. <laughs> well, anyway, I get to go to the sun! Yeah. Oh my god! So you get ready, I'll see you bright and early tomorrow morning. Oh my god, we gotta call Cody. Oh, we yeah. gotta call Cody. We gotta rub it in, dude. Hello? Hello? Uh, uh, hello? What do you want, Junior? Uh, come inside, Cody. I got something to show you. <laughs> Junior, why did you invite me over? Well, Cody, guess who NASA's sending to the sun? What? Joseph, point at me. Hmm? Point at me. Hmm. He's pointing at me. I'm what? going to the sun. Yeah, I can see that. You're not going to the sun, Junior. Uh, yeah, yeah, huh? Joseph, yes, tell him. She is, dude. I seen her with my own eyes. Yeah. Dude came here. Yeah, NASA sent a guy here, and the guy brought me a letter. Hold on, where's the letter? Yeah, it's official, not, too. There's no way they're sending you to the sun. Uh, right, right here. Read it and weep. Is it written in Comic Sans? Please tell me yes. But, but, but NASA, man. Yeah. That, that's pretty official. Right? Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah, they're sending yes, me to the sun. I'm my own space shuttle. No, no, it... How, that can, this can't be possible. They wouldn't send you to the sun. Yeah, yes, they would. Joseph, Joseph, t tell them the name of my space shuttle. Ooh, ooh, his space shuttle is space shuttle octopus. Yeah, octopus. Octopus. Space shuttle octopus. It's crazy what? futuristic. That sounds like something you made up. I did just make it up because I just named it today. I just, I just made it up. Yeah, they gave him the opportunity to name it. You named it after a sea creature. Yeah, octopus. Now that, now that. I mean, if you were gonna have the word like you know octopus in it. I would have definitely recommend you named it something like Octo Rocket, maybe. I think that sounds a lot better. A bird or something else, a sea creature. Yeah, yeah octopus. Yeah, it's wow. just cool. I, 
I, I don't know, Junior. I, I don't feel like they would send you on a suicide mission to the sun. Y yes, they would. And when I get to the sun, I'm going to grab those 10,000 degrees and I'm going to be the smartest man on the planet. Oh, that's smart, dude. Yeah, All right. Degrees. You know what? Maybe it's good. Maybe grab it's good them. that you go into the sun. Yeah. Well, anyway, guys, I'm going to need this time to reflect on my actions and just think over my life for a minute. So uh, I'll see y'all later, okay? Fine. Wait, like, Alright, so here's a quick question. If you had the opportunity to go to Mars on that, um, that mission that they're going to be doing in, like, a couple years, I'm not really sure when they're doing it, but I know it's in a few years, but the mission to Mars, would you guys volunteer? Because I think, I think there's no hope of you coming back. So, like, you would go out to Mars, you'd be, like, the first people on Mars, you would have this really crazy experience, but you would have to go knowing that you were not going to survive, and that you would not come back to Earth. How many of you would actually go? Because personally, although it, it would be a crazy experience, i rather stay here. Anyway. Anyway. I have to leave? Yeah, Joseph, I'm leaving tomorrow to Port Canaveral, Captain Crunch, or whatever it's called. So I, Captain I need to sit Crunch? Here and think about it for a minute. I just, <laughs> okay. I'll well, see you later. I'll see you before I launch, Joseph. Okay, you're right, dude. I'll see you later. Oh, oh my god. I'm going to the sun. Breaking news, okay? We have reports that NASA's gonna send a child to the sun. Rumors are saying that since the sun is round like the Earth, that it may be a planet. It may be a planet. So NASA is sending a child to the sun to prove that it is a planet. <laughs> we'll give you more information as the story develops. Okay. Sounds like a solid plan. Hey guys, this is it. Net. I'm going to the sun. Oh my god, dude, you're going to be in the history. Uh, I know. Junior, you're going to burn up before you even get to the sun. What? What? No. Stop being a Debbie Downer, Cody. I'm not going to burn up. I have a flame retarded suit on. Yeah. Retardant? Don't no. you mean retardant? <laughs> no, flame retarded. I'm an astronaut, Cody. Yeah, he would know, duh. Uh, yeah, He's an astronaut. Anyway, guys, I'll see y'all in about a week. A, a week? Oh, is that how long you think it takes to get to the sun and back? A week, really? Well, it doesn't seem that far away, Cody. But really? Yeah, he knows what he's talking about. Yeah, how long does it take to get to the sun? Isn't Mars two years, like, to get there or something like that? Or it's either a year or two years. And Mars is really close to us. And then after Mars, you have, like, I think you have, like, one or two other planets before you get to the sun. Forgive me if I'm wrong. I'm not the smartest person ever. But if you're going to go to the sun, that must take, you know, a good, like... 15 years maybe or even longer i'm not sure but that would the time he gets there he's gonna be smart enough to know that it's not a it's not a planet you're just gonna eyeball it and tell me it's gonna be a week i'm an astronaut cody he's the one in the flame retarded suit yeah anyway joseph um you've always been my favorite friend uh, i'll be back in a week okay. and i'll bring you some sun kiss Ooh, sun kiss <laughs> Some sun kiss. That's where it comes from. Sun kiss comes from the sun. And I'll bring you some sun rocks, Cody. Right, you do that. You have fun burning to death. He's not gonna burn. <sighs> T-minus one minute. Mark and counting. All right, kid, you ready to go to space? Oh my God, I'm. Gonna Was that an actual rocket? I'm gonna be the first person to land on the sun. I'm so ready. I'm so ready. I'm a little nervous, but I'm ready. Send me to the sun, I'm ready! All right, just gonna do some computer stuff here, and uh, we're gonna be ready for launch soon, all right? Breaking news, okay? Space Shuttle Octopus is about to take off and head towards the sun, and we have the live feed right here, okay? Let's have a look. All right, kid, are you ready for launch? I'm ready for liftoff. All right, starting at T-minus 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, that's an actual spaceship. When was this filmed? Four, three, two, one, ignition. Oh, that's awesome. And we have liftoff. Uh, oh, this is a bumpy ride. I'm not sure what's going to happen, but I have a feeling that they're going to use, like, the Challenger footage when it, like, exploded. I think it was a Challenger. Please, please do not use that. Oh, I think I'm going to be sick. Oh, he's so beautiful. You know he's never coming back, right? That's awesome. And Space Shuttle Octopus has successfully left Earth's atmosphere, okay? 
I can't believe Junior's actually going to the sun. <laughs> Man, I can't believe I actually know an astronaut. <laughs> How's the view up there? It's amazing. I can see everything. I think I can see my house from here. All right, so uh, now we're going to activate Supersonic Boom Supremo Fast Mode, and uh, you should be at the sun shortly. Okay, I'm ready. Activate it. Sun. Supersonic Boom Supremo Fast Mode. <laughs> I imagine they said that in, like, Star Trek instead of, um, was it, like, Warp Drive or something like that? Instead of Activate Warp Drive, it's Activate Supremo Supersonic Boom Fast Mode. <laughs> Here I come. I'm gonna prove you're a planet once and for all. Oh, Space Shuttle Octopus, because it has eight arms and there's eight planets. Wait, what are you talking about, Cody? It's ten what? planets. What? What? How are there ten planets? There's Did eight. you forget about Pluto in the sun? Duh. Pluto's not a planet, and the sun is a star. <sighs> Whatever, Junior will prove it when he comes back. All right, and we see here Space Shuttle Octopus is approaching the sun. Ooh, it, it's, uh, it, it, it's getting hot in here. It's getting, it's getting really hot in here. Uh, yeah, yeah, that's gonna happen. <sighs> I don't care. I don't care how hot it is, because I'm gonna land on the sun. I'm gonna be the first person to land on the He's gone! <laughs> oh my god. I'm sorry, we have lost feed with Space Shuttle Octopus. It appears that the Space Shuttle has exploded. Yep. Who, who, who would have seen that coming? Hey, Planish, huh? I'm receiving word that uh, NASA Space Cadet Brooklyn T. Guy is holding press conference. Let's go to that. All right, all right, everybody, quiet down, quiet down. Okay, so uh, it is true that we have gotten some reports that the Space Shuttle Octopus has exploded upon getting close to the sun, because that's what happens, okay? Do not be alarmed, this was always the plan. Wait, what? This was the plan? The plan was for him to explode? Okay. Uh, that kid we sent up there was, well, quite frankly, he was a friggin' idiot, because the sun is not a planet. I want that to be very clear, the sun is not a planet. That was the stupidest thing we had ever heard, and we didn't want him on this planet anymore. We sent him <laughs> to the sun to get him out of our hair once and for all, okay? I know it cost us billions of dollars, but in the end, I think it was worth it, and uh, that is all. No further questions, please. <laughs> what kind of plot twist was that? So they sent him up there just to destroy him. Mission accomplished. Anyway, guys, I hope you liked this video. This is a very weird plot. <laughs> But if you liked it, make sure you give it a thumbs up, possibly share it with a friend if you're new, and subscribe to join the family today. Also, make sure you go subscribe to Super Mario Logan. And with that being said, I'll see you guys next time. Boop.